Since March, there have been four other shootings involving local law enforcement. A Spokane police officer shot and killed Todd White outside a South Hill home on March 26th. White was armed with the, at the time and had a 2002 conviction for assaulting two Vancouver deputies. Spokane County Sheriff Deputy Brian Herzl shot and killed Pastor Scott Creech during a confrontation at the plant farm in Spokane Valley August 25th. Two Washington State troopers shot and wounded Sean Houlihan outside a Wandemere home on September 16th. They say Houlihan was armed with a gun and fired at them. And on September 28th, a Washington State Patrol trooper says he accidentally shot a, pr a pregnant suspect during a drug raid at a West Spokane apartment. And tonight, many are asking the question, when can a police officer legally shoot someone? KXLY 4's McKay Allen is live tonight with some of those answers. And in the last 12 months, October of 2009 to now, there have been eight officer-related shootings in Spokane County. Six of those were as a result of Spokane County Sheriff's deputies. And the line that determined when cops can pull the trigger and when they can't is pretty vague and pretty subjective. We do our best to protect the public, and there's no police officer out there that ever goes to work with the intent of hurting one of the citizens they've sworn to protect. The line, when to shoot and when not to shoot, a line upon which life and death hang, is blurry at best. State law says that for a police officer to use deadly force, that officer must have probable cause to believe that the suspect poses a threat of serious physical harm to the officer or a threat of serious physical harm to others. But what constitutes a threat of serious physical harm? State law says serious physical harm means everything from threatening an officer with a weapon to merely displaying a weapon in a manner that could reasonably be construed as threatening. Another factor determining how serious a potential threat might be, past crimes. If there is a probable cause to believe that the suspect has committed any crime involving the infliction or threatened infliction of serious physical harm. In a general sense, um, we meet the perception of deadly force with deadly force. That's what we're trained to do. But perhaps more subjective than laws governing when to shoot are laws regarding when a police officer can be criminally punished for shooting. A police officer cannot be held criminally liable for using deadly force if it's done without malice and with a good faith belief that such act is justifiable. And state law also says that individual departments and agencies can have standards that are more stringent than the state law. We asked Spokane PD today what their exact standards were, and they said, you know, it's difficult to codify every situation to write down exactly what their standards are in every situation, depending on how far you are from a suspect, depending on exactly the lighting, the mood of the suspect, the behavior, and what the weapon is. They say they just try to hold the principles set out in those state laws and trained to those principles. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXOY4 HD News.